Welcome to Mojo Plays, Johnny here, and today we're ranking all the Valkyries in God of War. For this list, we'll be judging each Valkyrie on a combination of how challenging they are and how fun they are to fight. The Valkyries are the toughest challenge in the game, so head to the comments and let us know which one gave you the most grief, although I can probably guess. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 9. Gunnar Gunnar has the unfortunate destiny of being placed last simply because she's the first one you're likely to encounter. This doesn't mean it's an uninteresting fight, quite the contrary as none of them are, but she mainly serves as the tutorial to how the Valkyries will fight you. Her moveset is used by other Valkyries, albeit in a much more aggressive way. She'll slice at you with her wings and scythe as well as attempt to dive bomb you, but if you've made it this far, you'll know how to read, dodge, block, or parry most of her moves. As long as you keep your wits about you, Gunnar shouldn't pose too much of a threat. Number 8. Kara Kara's fight can be pretty annoying if you're not careful. She's the only Valkyrie able to summon Draugr, bringing them in groups of four. If you don't get rid of them quickly enough, it's possible she'll summon more on top of them. Summoning minions is an irritating quality for a boss to have. However, the Blades of Chaos and Runic attacks that cover a wide area can make short work of them, and they'll often drop health should you be running low. They mostly serve as a distraction while Kara tries to catch you off guard. Her own moveset doesn't differ too much from Gunnar's, save for a couple projectile attacks. She can be overwhelming at first, but there's not much else to the fight. Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Number 7. Hilder. <laughs> Hildur is one of the easier Valkyries in the game, though she has several troublesome qualities. She's found in Niflheim, a realm covered in poisonous fog that will begin to damage Kratos after a time limit runs out. Players can either search a maze for gear that weakens the effects of the fog, or try to run straight through to her to preserve time. Regardless, a time limit makes the fight more stressful than it should be, and if you die, you start at the beginning of the maze, which is pretty cheap. Luckily, Hilder's health bar is small, and her attacks are easy to read. Her signature attacks are all ice projectiles, though she'll back up across the entire arena to signal you. Number 6. Old Run. Now here's where we really start to feel the sting of the Valkyries. All of them are fairly quick, though Ulrun is one of the speediest. She likes to keep her distance, enticing any aggressive player to charge in where she can make them pay. But if you let her come to you, well, she'll probably still mess you up. Her spin attack can be deadly if it lands, and she'll happily take to the sky to bring her heel down on Kratos' throat. Patience is key for the entire fight. Keeping your shield up and abstaining from slow, heavy attacks is the best strategy. Olrun's attacks are telegraphed by certain movements, but with her immense speed, it might take some trial and error to figure those out. Number 5. A lot of Valkyrie attacks can be spotted thanks to their animations. Whether or not you react in time is beside the point. What makes Gierdrifl's fight so challenging is that she throws a monkey wrench into this, dashing around the arena and making it hard to tell what's coming next. Ah, 
Amidst the lunges, slices, and projectiles, she'll also emit a thick cloud of fog that not only deals damage, but hides her. You'll be shot or stabbed many times from the side. However, this is easy to see coming as she'll fly upwards first. A well-timed axe throw or arrow from Atreus can thankfully stun her out of it. In fact, Atreus is the MVP of this fight, loading Deirdre full with arrows as she tries to overwhelm you. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! Number 4. Rota. Some of the strongest attacks the Valkyries have in their wheelhouse are two unblockable grabs. One will have the warrior drag Kratos across the arena's floor, while the other will see them drive their boot into his neck. Both deal heavy damage, and Rota's tendency to use both of them in quick succession is why she places so high. Not even Kratos' Spartan Rage ability can save him from being treated like a little punk. It's fairly easy to tell when she'll perform them, but that doesn't mean they'll be easy to dodge. This thrilling fight keeps you on your toes more than most others, and by the end, your palms will be sweaty from narrowly avoiding death so many times. Number 3. Air Some Valkyries like to keep their distance, others like to get up close and personal. If you let Air get too close, she'll make you pay. She likes to use the same wing jabs as her fellow Valkyries, but she also comes equipped with a heavy mace. She'll slam it into the ground, producing an unblockable AOE blast before following up with a wide slice. A detrimental one, too. On a first round, she's also likely to get you with a massive, unblockable, undodgeable explosion that might actually kill you. Like the Eardrifle, you'll have to stun her with an arrow or the Leviathan Axe, but it's a stellar showcase of her power when you don't know it's coming. Okay, brother. So that's it then. Number 2, Gondol. <laughs> Found in Muspelheim, Gondol has plenty of fire attacks to make you wish you never ventured into her realm. While her trio of raining fireballs are easy to dodge, they'll leave behind flames that make the arena harder to maneuver in while she keeps up the flurry of attacks. Like others, Gondol will also perform the unblockable stomp move, only she'll launch a fireball first to make you dodge and catch you unawares with the follow-up. <laughs> If these new attacks don't get you, Gondol will make sure to with plenty of wing lunges and a mace similar to Air's. Even with fire-resistant gear, Gondol is one of the toughest fights in the entire game. Not for nothing, but she has one of the coolest arenas as well. Although, you'd think if they wanted to be killed, they'd make it a little easier for us. Number 1. Sigrun <laughs> There's simply no topping the queen. If the previous eight fights haven't driven you mad, the final one will. Sigrun is the toughest challenge God of War has to offer, which also makes it the most satisfying to overcome. The Valkyrie Queen can utilize every attack of the others except for Kara's summoning ability. Of course, they're all much more deadly when performed by her. <laughs> Her speed is intimidating, and her durability will make the fight drag on as Atreus' arrows don't hurt her. Openings to deal damage are few and far between, so you better make them count. We all have our own strategies, our own gear, our own Atreus summons we think work best, but Sigrun will make you question your skill as a player, no doubt about it. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.